In this video, I'll show you how to set up WooCommerce shipping per product. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and currently I've got two type of shipping methods running. Okay, so I've got a flat rate shipping methods for most products on our store. And then for individual products, I've actually configured the shipping rate per specific products. Okay, so for example, whenever anyone purchased this particular product here, they're charged a flat fee of $10 for this particular product. Okay, so if I increase the quantity, now it's $40.50, right? So you can see each quantity of this particular product we're charging the customers ten dollars okay and then on our store we've got a flat rate shipping of three dollars fifty for all our products that doesn't have a per product shipping rate with the plugin i'll share with you you can use it in two different ways so for example i'm using it in conjunction to our other shipping methods okay so as i said i've got a separate flat rate shipping and then for specific products i'm actually charging a per product shipping rate okay or you can use a standalone method where all the products on your store is charged on a per product basis so i'll show you how to utilize both methods it's on your woocommerce store so with that being said the plugin we'll be using is this per product shipping plugin so i'll leave a link in the description below so the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and upload that plugin so we go plugins add new upload and install the plugin once that's out the way we'll navigate to woocommerce and then settings then we'll navigate over to shipping and then essentially assuming you've created your shipping zones, if you aren't familiar with shipping zones, I'll leave a link on screen to a more in-depth video where I break down how to set up shipping zones and different methods, okay? So I've already got a US shipping zone here. So I'm gonna edit this shipping zone. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna click add shipping method. And then here we'll have a new option which says per product, okay? So we can go ahead and add this option here and then just click add shipping methods. I'm going to X this off since I've already added it here. Once you've added it, let's go ahead and click edit. We can rename the shipping method title. So by default, it says product shipping. So you can change that to whatever you want. We can choose whether it's taxable or not. And we can add a default um, rate for all products on our store. OK, so for example, we can say for all products on our store, it's a flat fee of $10 per product. OK, and then we can just enter in the amount here and um, we can add a handling fee as well if you want um, per product or per order. OK. And we can ignore the free shipping option and also the local pickup option. So if you enable this option, let's say, for example, in this US specific zone, we've got free shipping. And if we click ignore here, then the user won't see that method. OK, so once you've configured all of this, just click save changes. OK, so we've got our per product shipping option here. And I've also got a flat rate shipping option. OK, we're here for this flat rate shipping option. I'm charging customers three dollars fifty per quantity. OK, so essentially what this means is that any product that doesn't have the per product shipping cost added on a product level, then we'll be using this rate here. OK, so as I said, we can use this plugin um, with multiple shipping methods or we can use it um, standalone. OK, so this is me using it with multiple different shipping methods so essentially we'll be adding our flat rate shipping to our shipping price in conjunction with our per product shipping okay so with that being said let's head over to products and then let's go ahead and add our shipping rates okay and then we'll navigate over to um, products and then we can go ahead and configure our per product shipping so we'll choose the product so for example once you've selected your product, just go ahead and click on shipping. And then you want to enable this option where it says per product shipping. OK, and then here we'll enter in our country code. So I've added asterisks here, meaning it will apply to all countries. OK, so if we wanted, we could be more specific. OK, so we could say US, for example. And this is based on a country code. If you go ahead and Google um, country code, most likely you'll see a Wikipedia page with a list of all the country codes. OK, we can filter it down to the state and also the zip code slash postcode. OK, and then here we can enter in the amount that we want to charge customers to ship this particular product. OK, it's a similar setup with variable products. So once you've entered this in, just go ahead and update. OK, I'll quickly show you how you go ahead and configure it for variable products. So let's just head back over to our product page. Let's find a variable product, um, for example, this one. OK, so we'll click on shipping and then we'll click enable per product shipping. So we can set like a default rule for all our variation or we can click on variations here. 
Okay, and then we can just enable this option where it says pair variation shipping. And with that enabled, we can actually go ahead and add our shipping rate per variation okay right so we've covered a few things so we've enabled the per product shipping option on our shipping zone and we've also added a price on the product level as well so now that we've configured our rate per product let's go ahead and test this out okay again here we've actually specified ten dollars um, shipping for this particular product okay so let's add it to our basket. Let's open this site cart area here and then let's navigate over to our checkout page. OK, and then if we look here where it says product shipping here, we're charging customers $50.50. OK, so let's try and make the math simpler. Let's reduce this to one. This particular product, as I said, we're charging $10. OK, so if we minus $10 from the shipping cost here, this leaves us with $10.50. OK, and then here we've got two quantities um, and then this one here. So free. So it's essentially three times 3.5, which is basically 10.5. OK, so this is what I mean. We're blending our flat rate shipping with our per product shipping. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.